Hello, how are you guys? All good? Have you heard about Cobras Island? The island of Quemada Grande? So, today I will present to you this incredible place and very dangerous. But before don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and also leave your comment below at the end, okay? Then let's go. The most dangerous island in the world is in the Brazil. And those who say that are not Brazilians. Even some gringos have admitted it out there. This island is known as Snake Iceland in English translation to Portuguese Snake Island. I will say here the history of this island, the deaths that she accumulates and why she is so dangerous. Burnt Island better known as the island of Cobras, it is 35 kilometers from coast of the state of Sao Paulo. She earned her fame and that nickname from Snake Island, precisely because it is infested with snakes. Poisonous. But I'm not talking about a snake here. Another one there. This island is really infested crowded. There are five snakes per square meter on the island. Imagine the space of an elevator with five snakes inside, a single bed with ten snakes on top, that's how it is throughout the entire island. But the snakes are not just on the ground, they are also up in the trees. We'll talk more about that later. Nowadays, the Brazilian Navy has expressly prohibited access to this island, only allowing a few important biologists to go there rarely. However, it was not always like that. Over a hundred years ago, people lived on this island, families even. One of these families was responsible for taking care of a lighthouse that exists there. To combat the enormous amount of snakes on the island, these families would set fire to the forest, hence the name of the island, Quemada Grande. However, these fires simply didn't help at all. Hundreds of snakes were killed, but more always arrived. Practically all causes of death on this island were due to people being bitten by snakes. In 1920, the Brazilian Navy renovated the lighthouse to work automatically and evacuated the entire island, taking all the people away. After that, they prohibited any kind of visit to the island, as it wasn't just the residents who were dying. From time to time, an unsuspecting person would dock their boat on the island, go for a walk, fish, and so on, and when they least expected it, they were bitten and that was it. The venom of the Ilha snake is very strong. If you get bitten, your death sentence is decreed, and you will die within two hours, with these last two hours of life likely being your worst. A person who is bitten by the Ilha snake will suffer from something called general organ failure, which is nothing more than their organs and organism failing, so to speak. While the person feels their organs stopping, they will experience pain all over their body because of this. They will vomit, have hallucinations, and experience several other effects, each one worse than the last. Here's a curiosity folks, the Ilha snake only exists on this island and nowhere else in the world. It is a type of snake that has adapted to living specifically on this island because, with so many snakes, there are no mammals, not even rats, which you know can live anywhere but not there. These snakes have adapted to climb and jump from trees to hunt birds. I mentioned earlier that snakes aren't the only dangers on the island. Suppose you had to stop on this island and couldn't leave. Even if you managed to avoid all the snakes, death would be only a matter of time and you'd still have other things to worry about because there are also some types of venomous spiders on the island, and there is no source of potable water. The animals that live there are adapted to survive only on rainwater. 
So, if we put all these elements together, we can understand why Snake Island is considered the most dangerous place in the world. If it weren't prohibited, even adventurers would think twice before setting foot on the island. Would you have the courage to risk and visit this island? Leave your comment. I, for one, wouldn't take the risk, as I have a fear of snakes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if it's your first time here on the channel, subscribe. You are all very welcome. Thanks, bye.